Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred on another edition of Five Things We Learn, and this time, of course, it's from yesterday's 2 0 victory over Manchester City. Has there ever been a sweeter night's sleep that any of us have had after yesterday's performance? I said it in my fan, cam, uh, fan cams and post match review last night. For me, one of the great performances that I've ever seen of a Spurs side, especially at White Hart Lane. Uh, the place was absolutely buzzing, the crowd were rocking, atmosphere was there the whole time. As I've noticed over the last two, three seasons, especially under Pochettino, when players for Spurs put in the effort, the stamina, the desire to make tackles and just get their foot in, it really raises the, the atmosphere of the crowd more than I'd ever really realised before that. Mainly, I think, because Spurs hadn't really had a team that did that before. We were always very pretty, very soft, um, scored the odd wonder goal never really put our foot in and now things have changed and yeah like I said the crowd was brilliant yesterday anyway the first thing I want to talk about in terms of five things we learned it's about Pochettino and specifically his tactics uh, he's talked potentially about this being a blend into a 4-1-4-1 rather than his uh, kind of tried and tested 4-2-3-1 they're similar I think in terms of when you have and haven't got the ball and in terms of the second player in front of the back four last season of course it was Dyer in front of the back four and then uh, uh, Dembele in the pivot in front of him. I don't think it's that dissimilar. Uh, yesterday, of course, it was Wanyama in front of the back four, and then Deli Ali was playing a bit more forward of that. Um, I don't know. The fact is, we've got fantastic options, uh, and most importantly, yesterday, the players, to the letter, performed exactly how Maurizio Pochettino asked them to. You know, straight from the first kickoff, Hung Min Son absolutely pressing, closing down. The centre back, so they and the full back, so they always had to go back to the keeper. Then continuing, getting at the keeper, and it's not as simple as then him doing it. The rest of the team have to push up with him, and the players behind him, Ericsson, Ali, they were all doing it as well. And then Wanyama uh, was picking up the pieces from the knockdowns that were coming when City had to play long. Uh, Alderweireld over Tongan winning the header, Wanyama winning the knockdown, and then starting the process all over again with the ball, attacking, attacking, attacking. If we lose the ball, press, 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 win the tackle, get the ball back in the transition, and hit Manchester City where it hurts. Pep Guardiola had to come out and admit openly they were beaten by the better side. Doesn't happen often to a Pep Guardiola team. Hasn't happened at all this season where they'd won all of their games before that. And now Tottenham Hotspur are the only unbeaten team in the Premier League. And that is because of Mauricio Pochettino and the way that his players, the players that he's chosen, the players with the right mentality, the players who are willing to put in a shift the whole time, have, have absolutely performed how he asked them to. And that is why sometimes during the transfer windows, when a lot of Spurs fans on Twitter, on social media are saying, we need to buy the big name, we need to buy the big name. I don't always agree. You need to buy the player who fits in with Pochettino's philosophy. And that is, he will always choose a player with the right mentality over potentially a more talented player who wouldn't put the shift in. Okay, Dimitri Payet for me, unbelievable footballer. But would he put a shift in for Tottenham Hotspur in the same way Christian Eriksen does? I don't know if he would. I'm just using it as an example. I think he's a fantastic player. But I would have Eriksen. He may not score as many goals, but because he plays in the style that we now play. And we are such an incredible team. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. Have I just pulled Pia out? Is that, have I got that completely wrong? I don't know. I'm just using it as an example. Fantastic player. The kind of player Spurs would have used to have had. But in terms of making it as a team and pushing up to the upper echelons of not just the Premier League, but also the Champions League, you need to have a philosophy and you need all the players who fit in. Square pegs, square holes, uh, round holes in round, uh, round pegs in round holes, square pegs, square holes, etc., etc. You need it all to fit in. That's where I think Pochettino's got it dead right. Second thing I want to talk about, once again, I won't talk too long about it because I do it every week, the case for the defence. This week, absolutely brilliant. Alderweireld and Vertonghen, rock solid. The communication between those two and Wanyama in front of them, Absolutely fantastic. The fullbacks, best fullbacks in the league, if you ask me. No questions asked. They know exactly what they're doing all the time. They know when to pass. They know when to take someone on. They know when to drop. They know when to push. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and then, of course, the icing on the cake, Hugo Lloris pulling out two, at least two, absolutely world-class saves when needed. Clean sheet against the highest scorers in the league previously. Fantastic. What a defence we've got. Still only three goals conceded. Long may it continue. Keep them all fit and we will go there or thereabouts. And let's not forget also, we've got good backups when needed. 
uh, Davis and Trippier, in for uh, Rose and Walker, and of course Vimmer and Carter Vickers. If either Alderweire or Vertonghen were to get injured or need a rest, let's hope uh, no injuries come our way. But fantastic squad we put together, more of which I'll be talking about right now with my third point, which is about the squad depth. That was a seamless link, really, wasn't it? Sissoko played yesterday, his best game in a Spurs shirt, no doubt. Did some great stuff down the wing. Uh, his final ball wasn't always there, but he was always pressing like the whole team were. And he was helping out his teammates and he was pretty decent on the ball in terms of the little short passes giving and going down that right flank. So he impressed me. That's another example of how our squad has improved this season compared to last. Victor Wanyama, I'll talk about him in more depth in a minute. But again, last year we'd have had a Ryan Mason or a Tom Carroll in for a game like that when Eric Dyer wasn't quite fit enough. Or we'd had to play Eric Dyer when he wasn't at 100%. This year, it's better. We've beaten the best team in the league while we've got injuries. I know City had De Bruyne out. They had company out. They had Nolito suspended. But we had Dembele out, Dyer out, Kane out. I think that leveled it up. We just had a better squad for that game. Fourth thing I want to talk about, the difficulty of what we've just achieved in the past week. Winning away at Middlesbrough up north. Going straight to Moscow. Long, long trip. Very, very difficult conditions over there. Uh, a tight stadium, new stadium. Great, great crowd that Moscow had. Brilliant fans, really on our case the whole time. Very loud, very atmospheric. Got a win over there, 1-0. Straight back into London for the game against the leaders. And we won all three of those games. I was talking to a Chelsea fan earlier on. He said he could not believe it. And he is so frightened at how Spurs are doing. Because to do that in the league and the Champions League over the course of one week is absolutely unbelievable to get those three wins in such a style as well and to just really show the other teams in the league what we're made of absolutely brilliant going into the international break I can enjoy this entire international break now I don't give a sod about England obviously I want the Spurs players to do well I don't really care about England just enjoy the fact we're second in the league one point off top we've played Man City we've played Liverpool we went to Everton away tough game still unbeaten no one else is fantastic and then the final thing I want to talk about in the five things Victor Wanyama absolutely fantastic just to use that adjective again an incredible performance just, I said it in my review or in one of the fan camps yesterday, he performed yesterday exactly how he did for Southampton against us at the lane at the back end of last season where they turned us over and he, I think, was playing for his move to Spurs. I think he knew the move was still possible and he had to prove that he had to be Pochettino's man and he was that day and he was yesterday. He was everywhere. He was a beast. He was impossible to beat. His, he made uh, at least one of the two goals with his interception, his tackle that started the move. Absolutely brilliant. Is it hard for Eric Dyer to get back in the side now? Yes, of course it is. But that's how it should be. And Dyer will love that. He'll love the competition. He just, he thrives on that stuff. And Wanyama will too. It's a great squad. They've all got the right mentality. They believe in each other. They understand that if they have to sit on the bench, it's because someone else is playing better than them at the moment. Hung Min Son's example will have shown that if you play incredibly well, then you will not lose out in the side. And you will become an important part of that team. And... That's what he's done. I think Wanyama's doing something similar. The squad depth is absolutely unbelievable. As I said at the top, a fantastic time to be a Spurs fan. Surely nothing to complain about. Guys, let me know in the comments box below what you thought of the five things that I felt we learned from this weekend's game against Manchester City. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, at TV. Find us on Facebook as well. And most importantly, just enjoy this at the moment. It's a terrific time to be a Spurs fan. Come on, you Spurs. Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On and this is another match preview, this time for the Champions League.